over to Ding Liren against Pragnananda, where Dean, well, he's playing with two pawns deficit. It's just a question of time before this game is over. Yes, this is a fairly well-known theoretical endgame. It's knight and f and h versus knight. It is a win. It is a win. By the way, if you replace the knights with rooks, that is, in most cases, a draw. Rook, it's a difficult draw, but it's a draw. This is winning. You just need to be very careful about when you push your pawns. I think you can just go f3 and king f4. Prague is down to six minutes. Has to keep his nerves in check. Couple moves away. I think just f3 check, Yovi. f3 check is straightforward and strong. It looks really simple, right? Advance your pawn. It's on the board. Step forward with the king to f4. Keep on creeping up the board. Yes. G1. Just don't go... Well, I mean, probably you can go h3, but don't do it prematurely. There's no need to push the pawns without necessity. You always have time for h3, so bring up your king first. Yes, king f4. Yeah. Yeah, this is really nothing to be done for Ding. All he can do is just shuffle his king from side to side. Black is infiltrating King E3, King G3. Too many things to keep track of. King F1, okay. I think he's hoping to meet King G3 with Knight H1. Check. I, I would go Knight E4 here. I think Knight E4 is... Knight E4 will trigger resignation. Yeah, because the king is going to step forward, right? After knight e4, the last thing you want to be playing is a move like knight h1. <laughs> yeah. But the, otherwise, if you don't do a move like that, the king e3 is coming. King g3 is also making an appearance. And knight e4, Pragnananda, precise until the end. And we get a handshake. Pragnananda wins with the black pieces against.